Today, I have a serious message to share with you. And the title of my message is Stop Changing Churches Like Diapers. I was sitting in my room and the Holy Spirit brought this message to my attention and said, talk about this. I said, okay, sir. So today I have come your way with this awesome message. This message will touch a lot of areas in your life. It's about the body of Christ, congregational worship. What does it mean to be part of a certain particular church? It is very spiritual. When you come into a certain church or when you are born again into a particular church, you have joined a spiritual family hallelujah the anointing in that family covers you when you join a particular congregation the blessings of that church you partake of the covering the spiritual covering the spiritual atmosphere in that church you partake of so being part of a certain church or joining a certain congregation you have simply come under the covering and the anointing that is upon the man of god of that church you have come under the protection that is under the man of god you have come under the shelter of that ministry. You have come under the refuge of that ministry. And beloved brothers and sisters, if there is any case or setback, you have also joined that case or setback. So joining a particular assembly, joining a particular congregation is spiritual. And you must never take that for granted. Connecting with a man of God, a certain ministry, is not a physical connection. It is a spiritual connection. The word of God says, when we gather together, and my spirit that is what God is saying. When you gather together, my spirit will be in your midst. So anytime we gather as a church, it is highly spiritual. And we must never take such gatherings for granted. When you belong to a particular church, don't take that for granted. You have joined a spiritual family. You partake of the blessings in that family. You partake of the, the glory in that family. You come under the shelter and the protection of that family. Hallelujah. Now, today, my message is about don't change churches like diapers. Be very careful when it comes to trying to change your church and move to another church be very careful changing from one church to another is very dangerous unless there are genuine reasons hallelujah right now i would like to pinpoint some of the reasons why people leave one church and move to another or why people leave one congregation and move to another some of the reasons i'm going to pinpoint right now are very genuine and some are not justifiable hallelujah the reason why 
somebody might have moved from one church to another, the first reason is maybe, probably, you are released by the Holy Spirit to do a different assignment. This is the one of the major reasons why somebody leaves another church and goes to another church. Maybe he is released, he or she is being released by the Holy Spirit to carry out his or her, his or her God-given assignment. All of us have our different callings. But sometimes when we find ourselves in another church, we are fulfilling an assignment there. And when our assignment is complete, it is time for God to release you into your own assignment. Hallelujah. Some of us are called to serve under certain ministries for life. And some of us too are also called for a different assignment, but only to complement a certain ministry for a period of time. Hallelujah. There are many good reasons why people leave churches. And there are also wrong reasons why people leave churches and move to another church. Some of the reasons may be doctrinal. Number two, doctrinal problem. The doctrine that is being taught in the church, the kind of message that the man of God brings to the congregation, is he guided by the Holy Spirit or is he preaching a different doctrine? Paul said, let him that preach another gospel other than the gospel of Jesus Christ be accursed. Sometimes somebody may move from one church to another because of doctrinal reasons. Hallelujah. So let us take note of that. Because no one just moved from one church to another anyhow. There are many people who make this mistake. They keep moving from one church to another for no good reason. Now let me go to the third point. Reason why people move from one church to another. It may be the character and the behavior of the pastor in charge or associate pastors or probably the members in the church. When the spiritual head lacks moral sanctity and discipline, when the general overseer of the church that you are under is indisciplined, is immoral, is very loose, sometimes it may lead some people to move out of the church because it is not everybody that is carnal. There are many believers who are moving around looking for a church that is filled of the Holy Ghost and full of power to fellowship with. And when they come to your church, man of God, apostle, prophet, teacher, prophet, evangelist, when such believers come to your church and they observe that there are happenings in the church that can lead to the loose, the, the detrimental or the degradation of the souls of the people, that can lead many people to hell. Man of God, you are likely to lose some of your members. Your character on the pulpit and outside the pulpit. Remember, the members, they watch us. We are living epistles of Christ. 
and we're supposed to reflect his glory. So when the congregation observed that the pastor or the general overseer ministering the word of God is not living a pistol. His lifestyle is not reflecting the glory of God. Then you are likely to lose members from your church moving into another church. Hallelujah. So these are some of the genuine reasons why a child of God can leave his church and move around looking for another church to fellowship. Hallelujah. Character issues. Indisciplined pastors. Indisciplined associate pastors. If there is no order in the body of Christ, man of God, you are likely to lose some of your members who are desperate to make it to heaven. Another reason why somebody may leave your church, it could be character, it could be as a result of offenses, grudges with some members or probably even the man of God. Hallelujah. This is another reason why one person will keep changing churches. Because that member lacks understanding. Hallelujah. So sometimes moving from one church to another may be because of some of the things that offend you. So if the child of God is so much offended by some behaviors, if the child of God is hurt by the pastor or any member of the church, it can lead to that person moving out of the church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stick and stay around because I'm going to talk about so many issues that bothers the body of Christ. And I believe that by the time I am done, you will be happy and you will be glad and you will know what to do when you are in a church or when you are trying to move out of the church. You will now have an understanding of what to do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some of the reason why somebody might have moved to from one church to another it may be a call to move to do a different assignment which I've already mentioned that hallelujah another reason why somebody will move from one church to another is sometimes the man of God in your church may not carry the grace or the anointing that is needed for you to fulfill your assignment and your calling. So sometimes people may be tempted to move to another church where they think that man of God carries the grace and the anointing that will help them accomplish their set goals and assignment in ministry in life in destiny hallelujah there are certain callings that demand some anointings and the church you may find yourself in may not carry that grace hallelujah and this can cause somebody to leave your church to move to another church and stay under a certain man of god for a certain grace to come upon that person. Hallelujah. It will eventually lead to changing another, another ministry. But, beloved brothers and sisters, this all 
must be done in the appropriate manner. How can it be done in the appropriate manner? Your pastor or the general overseer of the church you are under now must release you well in order to succeed in your next assignment in life. Don't break away. You must be released in the right way and in the right manner. Hallelujah. Some of us make mistakes by moving out of the church without the pastor in charge blessing you and releasing you to go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Don't break away. Negotiate with your pastor. There is a way he will release you without you leaving a vacuum behind in the church or without you destroying the church. Remember, we are lively stones being put together to form a church or to build up in the body of Christ. We are all living stones. Some of us are put in a certain corner, strategic corner. So try to leave that church. You may leave a vacuum. So you need the man of God or the general overseer to release you appropriately so that another stone will be fixed in your area. Hallelujah. Let the pastor or the general overseer release you so that no one will miss you when you are gone. Hallelujah. There is a way the man of God can release you in the back door without announcing it publicly in the church that you are leaving. Hallelujah. And don't break away. Hallelujah. Now, what are some of the consequences of moving from one church to another church. Brothers and bro beloved brothers and sisters, stick around. I'm going to show you the dangers involved in just moving from one church to another church. Hallelujah. It can make you unstable in life, in destiny, and in ministry. Be it a child of God, be it a marriage man, or be it a pastor or a minister of the gospel. When you move out of one church to another church, you have left one covering of God. You have left one refuge and you are now trying to establish yourself in another refuge. Which is not an easy job, beloved brothers and sisters. It is not easy to be planted in one church. It takes a lot of relationship. It takes a lot of spiritual work on your life. It takes a lot of impartation. It takes a lot of prayer. It takes a lot of the waterings from the man of God of that house. Prayers are made over you. Declarations have been made over you. Decrees and blessings have been prophesied over you when you were under that ministry. Now moving out of that ministry simply means moving out of every prophetic declarations and decrees that has been made over you. It means you are moving out of the blessings that has been deposited on you. It means you are moving out of the spiritual covering that was on that ministry. Beloved brothers and sisters, it is a dangerous mission. Hallelujah. 
moving out of a church is very terrible and dangerous it can cause a lot of instability hallelujah you can lose your family your family can be divided as a result of trying to move from one church to another church hallelujah maybe your wife may not be in agreement with your movement your children may be the problem in you trying to move from one church to another ministry because your children in the Sunday school in the children's ministry have enjoyed some fellowship with their colleagues they have enjoyed some friendship they have become family we have become one body and in trying to move your family move yourself from that ministry your children may not be in agreement your wife or your husband may not be in agreement and this may lead to a broken home beloved this is another danger of moving from one church to another you can lose your family sometimes moving from one church to another because of offenses or maybe somebody have hurt you or the pastor have caused hurt you can cause serious setback in life it can cause serious delay in life even your health can be at risk because you are moving with bitterness you have given satan the upper hand over you right now you have delivered yourself to satan automatically by keeping offenses and malice and bitterness in your heart and then number two you are moving out of the presence of god you are moving out of the covering of god you are moving out of the protective hand of god that is upon that church so satan will have a free course you will be a prey to the devil you will be a prey to sickness you will be a prey to demons because you have just left one covering and trying to establish yourself in another place hallelujah praise the lord it is very dangerous it is very dangerous hallelujah Maya Brosia Taba. Okay, let's talk about the way out. The way out. What can we do to handle this situation? How can we do to have a balance so that there will be no casualties in life? What can we do so that we can have a balance in our lives? Either we are moving or we are staying. Number one, you can stay in your church under your pastor and still connect with other ministries that you think carries the grace that can help build your spiritual life. You may not necessarily move out of your church, your local church, into another ministry. But you can partner with that ministry too and receive instructions and impartations from them. This is one of the decent ways in doing ministry because we are one in Christ. We are one body. When one part of the body is weak, there is another part of the body that is strong that can help complement the other part. Hallelujah. The fact that you are in one church does not mean that you should hate every other pastor. The fact that you are in that church does not mean you should not listen to any other pastor apart from your man of God. Beloved brothers and sisters, it is not written in the Bible anywhere that listening to your pastor only. Hallelujah! 
Hallelujah. Because the word of God says, I will give you pastors and ministers and teachers after your own heart. Who will feed you with the word of God? God said, I will give you teachers, apostles, prophets, pastors after my heart. Who will teach you the word of God? So it is not necessarily one pastor that will teach you until Jesus come or until the day you die. Hallelujah. There are many people who made this mistake. Who feel like, as for me, I'm in this church. Oh, this is the only church that I will die in. I will not listen to any other man of God. No. When you behave like that, you are not mature. Hallelujah. I will say you are controlled. Because it takes a mature person to know how to balance a spiritual life without causing any problem. So stay in your church. And if you admire any other ministry, the teaching of any pastor, you can follow them online. Thank God for social media. Hallelujah. Thank God for social media these days. It is easy to connect with the man of God of your choice to receive spiritual nourishment and instructions. But still, stay committed to your church. Stay faithful to your church. Be faithful in your service. Hallelujah. You can draw inspiration from other anointed men of God, from other congregations, to help establish you spiritually. But don't abandon your local church. Serve faithfully and God will reward you. Hallelujah. Man of God, listen to me now. Number two. Please. We all know that the scriptures say not all that are pastors, not all that are prophets, not all that are apostles, Hallelujah. And not all that are teachers. Not all that can perform miracles. Hallelujah. Not all that can prophesy. But all the gifts are provided in the body so that they will help edify the body. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Maye Rabaku Galeze. Mayo Ziata Labarata. Illa Braco Legeze. Masopra Illa Gazosia. Jala Mando Rabakataha. Not all of us are prophets. So when your church members need prophetic encouragement. Don't try to paint the prophetic ministry blind. Some people can blindfold their members by telling them that you don't need a prophet. No. It is not written like that in the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some men of God can run down another man of God in order to maintain their church members or their congregation. Man of God, I am not against you in trying to use methods and ways and tricks to keep your members in your church. It is better to teach them the right them, to tell them the truth and if they know the truth and they stay it is better than to deceive them to believe that prophetic ministry is not good to believe that healing is not good meanwhile the person is sick to believe that miracle working is not good hallelujah it is not right don't keep the church in bondage by teaching them things that 
you think will help your church to be stable hallelujah glory to jesus so let us know that there are diversities of gifts but it's all in one body hallelujah there are diversities of the gift in the body so when your members are trying to access certain gifts and anointings in other ministries don't make them look like they are rebellious they are unfaithful there are different administrations but the same lord there are diversities of oppression but it is the same god which worketh all in all hallelujah but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the works of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another the gift of healing by the same Spirit. To another the working of miracle. To another to prophesy. To another Descending of spirit to another, diverse kinds of tongues to another, interpretation of tongues. But all this worketh that one and that self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he wills. Hallelujah. For as the body is one and had many members, and all the members that are one body being many are one body so is christ hallelujah first corinthians chapter 12 the verse 1 up to the verse 12. man of god go back and sit down and read the scripture paul made us to understand that not every church have all the spiritual gifts it is not Everyone that is a teacher. In the same manner, it is not everyone that is a prophet. It is not everyone that is a pastor. It is not everyone that is an evangelist. Hallelujah. So the gifts are given to churches. But the good thing is this some churches may have the capacity to have all these spiritual gifts that I'm talking about operating in. In such a church, the members are well nourished and they are nurtured, they are cared for, that they don't need even to move from one church to another because when you are looking for a prophet, you will find him in the church. When you are looking for a teacher, you will find the teacher in the church. When you are looking for a pastor, you will find the pastor in the church. When you are looking for a man of wisdom, you will find that man in the church. When you are looking for healing, miracle working, it is still in the church. So man of God, child of God, brothers and sisters in Christ, let us be careful not to offend one another. Let us be careful not to hurt one another in trying to move from one church to another. Hallelujah. It is not every gift that is in your church. Hallelujah. Now my advice to believers and to ministers of the gospel, that is let us all stay in our calling and grow it to be a blessing to our congregation. Man of God, if you are a teacher, you can equally grow the ministry of healing. You can also equally grow the ministry of working of miracles. You can also equally grow or raise members who will work miracles. Hallelujah. You can equally grow in your prophetic ministry. Let us stay in our callings and develop it 
The other thing I want you to know, any man of God listening to me right now, grow your anointing. Spend much time with God. Don't let another pastor grow his anointing and pull all your members from your church. Sharpen your sword. Let there be oil upon your head. Let your head lack no oil. Let your garment always be white. Develop the gift of God in your church. And believers all over the world, let us not just be in a hurry to move from one church to another. Because such a move is a dangerous move. Hallelujah. I believe you are blessed. If you are blessed, I want you to subscribe. Click on the subscription button. There are more messages coming. And when you subscribe, you will be a partaker of the blessings of God in our lives. Remember, we are one body, but we have different gifts. I need your gift. You need my gift too. Hallelujah. I need your prophetic gift. I need your healing gift. I need your deliverance gift. I need your teaching gift. I need the impartation of wisdom. I need your faith gift. Hallelujah. So let us all endeavor to dwell together the lion and the lamb without hurting one another, without being afraid. How can one body be afraid of himself? We are the body of Christ. Let us not be afraid of one another. Let us embrace one another. We are one body. By one spirit are we all baptized into one body. We are baptized into the body of Christ. Hallelujah. And there are differences of gifts in the body. It is the differences of the gift that can lead somebody to move from one church to another in order to seek for a certain gift. But we can develop ourselves and grow the gifts of God within the church, within the congregation. Let us raise up the body of Christ. Beloved brothers and sisters, I would like to end my message here. Please, just subscribe before you leave. Don't just close and leave in my next videos to come. Let us pray, beloved brothers and sisters. I want to pray the prayer that Jesus Christ prayed for the church when he left us in John chapter 17. He said, Father, let the church be one, even as I and God the Father and the Holy Spirit are one. So let the church be one. I pray that there will be acceptance in the ministry in the name of Jesus. I pray for acceptance and oneness in the body of Christ. Lord Jesus, establish your peace, your love. Let the lion and the lamb dwell together. Let the young man, young man lead the congregation. Even as I am young and I'm speaking wisdom, may the elders also listen to the wisdom of God that is in my mouth. Holy Spirit, draw the body together. Help us to walk in love, to walk in unity and in understanding. Let brotherly love continue. Let the body be one. Even as you, O oh Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. May we be one. May we love one another. May we help one another in the ministry. May there be no differences between us. But may we see only Jesus Christ as the center of the faith of all Christians all over the world. Father, I thank you 
for opening our eyes and teaching us to humble ourselves to serve under our various ministries. And even if there is a need for us to move, Lord, may you guide us in the right way and in the right path we will continue to succeed and prosper in our spiritual lives. Thank you, Lord, for using me as a vessel to speak your message. And I pray that, Lord, this message will go far in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you and I bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, beloved brothers and sisters, we end our message here. I'll come your way another time with another message. This is your brother, your friend, Roy Asadoko from Ghana. And I said, Jesus loves you. Stay blessed. Stay in Christ. Let the word of God be the standard for your life. Let the word of God channel your life to the right path. And may heaven be your final destination. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. All right.